Hello. It's good to see you. Today we're going to be taking a look at the September Ipsy Glam Bag. And they always arrive in this little pink bubble mailer. It's quite festive. I have not looked in here yet. I have taken a pair of scissors and cut the bubble mailer open, but I have not looked inside. And we're going to do that together now. We'll see what we got. I'll just slide it up here so I have some space to work with. Let's see what our bag looks like for September. It's kind of a dusty rose color. Oh, I think I'm going to like it. Let's see. Okay, that's all that's in here. Is this the back? Here you can see the Ipsy logo. Oh, it has constellations on it. And look, the zipper pull um, looks like a crystal. <laughs> That's cool. The bag itself is made of, um, it feels like canvas. It's like a nice thick fabric. And you see that it has constellations on it. That's really neat. I like it. Look at all the little stars. So that's just on this side. On the back, it's just plain. And it has the Ipsy logo in gold down here. And it has a gold zipper. And the zipper pull is really neat. I kind of want to take this off and put it. I have a hoodie that this would look perfect. This would make the perfect zipper pull for my, um, for a hoodie that I have. But I'll leave it on here. This is a metal, a metal zipper. Sometimes the zippers are plastic. This one's metal. Okay. Let's see what we have in here. That's so cool. Sometimes when you receive your um, glam bag, there are items outside of the little pouch, but not this one. <clears throat> it looks like everything is in here. It has a really pretty blue nylon lining, like a navy blue. First we have our um, literature here. You know, there's always a little paper in here like this. Find your light. September is all about new paths and possibilities. So whether it's going all out with a bold new lip shade or masking at home to recharge from within, take a moment to rediscover your guiding north star. Where will it lead you? And there's some probably information in here about the products, but we'll look at that after we see everything. So let's see what we have here little box of something. 111 Skin Harley S Street something. Let me see. Um, this is a space defense bright eye lift bright eye lift gel. It says on here that you gently apply to the delicate areas around the eye you stay at night. Well, let's see. Let's see what this looks like. Oh, it's a cute little tube. <laughs> That's adorable. And it's just looks like 111 skin. Hmm. Huh. Let's see what it looks like. It's just a gel. So it's a bright eye lift gel. It's not sticky or oily or anything. It has a little bit of a scent. It has a light scent, but I'm not sure what it smells like. Hmm. 
Well, I'll definitely give that a try. Um, I have a, a product that I use um, specifically on my under eyes um, in the mornings, but I'll try this at night for a little while. See how it, how it goes. Next, we have Kula. This is a mineral sun silk cream sunscreen. Full 360 degrees spectrum. SPF 30. 70% plus organic. This multitasking modern masterpiece does it all. Non-nano zinc oxide provides broad spectrum UVA, UVB protection, while our plant-derived full full spectrum 360 degree complex helps mitigate the effects of today's modern world uh, skin aggressors. High energy visible light, which includes the blue light emitted from digital devices, IR, infrared, and pollution. It's fragrance-free, dermatologist tested, featuring plant cell cultures, and something that I'm assuming is good, but I can't read it. I have no idea what that says. Let's see here. Okay, put a little seal on it here. I just want to see. Very nice and smooth. Not oily at all. Doesn't really, doesn't really smell like anything. It definitely doesn't have that normal sunscreen smell. It, there's just a very faint uh, scent, but it's not bad. It doesn't smell like your typical sunblock. Ooh, look at this box. <laughs> wow. I saw a car on I-40 today that had a paint job just like this. Depending on the way you looked at it, it looked like a totally different color. Sometimes it looked blue, sometimes it looked purple. It's pretty trippy. This is a Lush Eyeshadow from City Limits. Or, sorry, IBY Beauty Fire and Ice. Well, the box alone is cool. I like that. Let's see what the eyeshadow looks like. Compact. That's adorable. <laughs> that is so cute. That's kind of a... I don't know if that's a gray color. The box is way more exciting. <laughs> Sorry. I'm just gonna put a little on my finger. Oh, you know what though? It's much more iridescent when you apply it, I believe. Yeah, it looks like I have a fabulous bruise on my hand. It's like a bruise, but Saturday night fever at the same time. So it's like a painful disco ball. Check it out. It really does look like a bruise, but a fabulously shiny bruise. Nice. I don't know how I feel about that color. I mean, I might be able to come... Um, Combine it with some other stuff, possibly. I don't know, but that's the cutest little, <laughs> little eyeshadow compact. Look at that. That's precious. It's like a little clam. <laughs> that's okay. Okay, there we go. So that's one, two, three. And another tube. This is Unicorn Glow Longwear Primer. Oh, now this I am definitely interested in. I've been using Urban Decay Primer for quite a while, several years. 
I'm actually running low right now. I need to get some more. I'm going to try this one. They've changed the applicator for the Urban Decay Primer. I don't like it. Now it has the little doe's foot applicator. You pull it out and it's has the little, you know, it's like a like the end of a Q-tip. I don't really like it. I liked it better when it came in tubes like this, where you could just put some on your finger and just apply it that way. I just prefer it that way. So this is a long wear primer, and that print is so impossibly tiny that even with my glasses on, I can't read it. So I'm going to assume that this section of language is a positive description of this primer. I doubt it says it's garbage or anything. We'll see. Okay, so it looks like it's tinted. Unfortunately, I just put it on the finger with the eyeshadow on it without thinking. It's tinted. It's sort of a creamy, like a peachy color. It's kind of hard to tell how it works, obviously. Well, I cut all the eyeshadow off my finger. <laughs> It doesn't have a scent. I don't... It doesn't smell like anything. I'm absolutely going to use this. I'll try it uh, and see how I like it compared to Urban Decay. I like their original eyeshadow primer. Is this... This isn't necessarily an eyeshadow primer, though. It's just a long wear primer. Oh, never mind then. This is actually not an eyeshadow primer. It's just a regular primer. I'll try it anyway. I um, I've kind of gotten out of the habit of using just a regular face primer, um, but I do use the eyeshadow primer because I don't like for my eyeshadow to crease. You know, get into the creases. One, two, three, four. Should I have one more? Oh, what do we have? Ofra Madison Miller lip gloss. Well, that does look like a pretty color. It kind of matches the bag. <laughs> oh, what's the name of it? Does it say? No. Oh, yes, it does. Sugar cup. Sugar cup. And that's all one word. Sugar cup. I changed my customization to get less lip stuff, but... That's actually a pretty color, and very shiny too. Look how shiny that is, my goodness. Wow. It has some, a little bit of a scent to it. It smells a little bit like Love's Baby Soft <laughs> to me. That's, that's what it smells like to me. But it, that is a very shiny lip gloss. Yeah, that's nice. It's a nice, pretty light pink color. Kind of a dusty rose. Very cool. There we go. Alright. So here are our items. So let's take a look at this. Alright. New paths and possibilities for September. The first thing we have here it says, good news, Mercury's not in retrograde this month. Well, thank God. You know, I was worried about that. It kept me up last night. And your five glam bag products have arrived. Allow us to demystify them for you. Well, thank you. First, we have IBY Beauty Eyeshadow in Fire and Ice. Founded in Los Angeles, IBY encourages confidence, kindness, and self-expression. This eyeshadow is infused with rosehip seed oil to keep your skin smooth and hydrated. Plus, the brick brown shade shifts to army green as it catches the light. Tip. Use a fluffy eyeshadow brush to blend fire and ice all over your lids. Then, take a damp angled eyeliner brush and smudge it onto your lower lash line. Mm-hmm. And then we have, I don't know if that's 111 or 111 or, or what. 111 Skin Space Defense Bright Eye Lift Gel 
NAC Y squared. It's like algebra or something. Founded by a globally renowned cosmetic surgeon, this brand's scientifically backed products address a wide range of skin concerns. This lightweight eye gel brightens, minimizes puffiness, and majorly hydrates. Plus, it helps keep your concealer smooth and crease free. As a tip, place a, dr a tiny drop onto your under eye area and smooth it out using your finger. So if you were thinking about applying it with a paint roller or even worse, a spray gun, you know now that it's smart to just put a little under your eye area, since it's an olive gel, and only use your finger to smooth it out. You don't need a trowel or a pressure washer or anything like that, so I'm really glad they mentioned that. Yeah, I was gonna I was gonna maybe try a butter knife, but instead I'll use my finger. And then we have this Kula Mineral SPF 30 Sun Silk Cream. Kula's farm to face philosophy ensures they use the freshest, most powerful organic and natural ingredients. Made with supercharged antioxidants. This lightweight sunscreen protects from environmental damage, infrared light, and blue light from your cell phones. Tip, shake it up, then smooth all over your face in an upward motion 15 minutes before exposure to the sun. Don't forget to add some to the back of your hands, too. Well, I already did that, but just to see what it felt like. Next, we have the primer. Right here. This is from Lock Color, L O C K, Unicorn Glow Longwear Primer. With artful packaging and smart, affordable formulas, this fun loving brand makes it easy to feel and look your best, look like your best self. Your makeup will stay put and your skin healthy when you use this illuminating primer made with jojoba oil, shea butter, and chamomile. And then have a tip for this one. After moisturizing, smooth a dime-sized amount of primer all over your skin. Then apply your foundation and makeup as usual. A dime-sized amount. You have about two uses in here, I think. And then finally, we have the lip gloss from Ofra. Ofra Cosmetics, Ofra X Madison Sugar Cup Lip Gloss. This limited edition collab between beauty guru Ofra Gato and beauty lifestyle blogger Madison Miller gives us highly pigmented shadows, glosses, blushes, and beyond. This pink gloss with a hint of purple shines up your lips without feeling the least bit sticky. Well, it feels a little sticky, but maybe I'm being overly analytical here. Okay, we have a tip for this. Apply this gloss onto bare lips over lip balm. Well, you're not applying it to bare lips if you're putting it over lip balm. But that's I'm just reading this. Apply this gloss onto bare lips over lip balm to keep things nice and smooth or use it to top your favorite lip colors with a touch of glam. Oh no, that would look nice. I have a really pretty um, dark, like a burgundy lipstick. I bet this would look really pretty over the top of that. I don't know if it would completely cover it, or just give it a nice light pink shine over that would still show a bit of the burgundy through this lip gloss. It's only way to, one way to find out. I'll just have to try it. <laughs> and that is everything. So for this one, we have this, this. This and of course a really cool glam bag right here. I 
think the coolest thing about it though is the zipper pull. <laughs> That's really pretty. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope that you enjoyed seeing these products with me. And I hope that you have a wonderful day. I'll see you again really soon.